Hi folks, this is Mr. Bergman again. Today I want to talk about absorption in the atmosphere. What this means is that above the Earth, there sits an atmosphere. We're breathing it right now. And the point is, is that the light from the sun, and when I say the word light, I not just mean the things that you can see with your eyes, but all of light, all of light, electromagnetic radiation, that's what I'm talking about, um, x-rays and gamma rays and ultraviolet infrared, that comes, that, that light is up in space. But there's a problem. We can't see it, even with our telescopes and cool things, because there's something between us and space. And that is our atmosphere. And our atmosphere gets in the way. And that, so that's the topic of today's discussion. So absorption in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere absorbs things. So let's kind of talk about that. So gases, these are, you should write these down. Gases in the Earth's atmosphere absorb electromagnetic radiation to the extent that most wavelengths, most wavelengths, underline that, from space do not reach the ground. So most of the electromagnetic radiation that comes from the sky never makes it to the Earth. Okay. So, what's up with that? Okay, now the thing that does make it to the Earth, of course, is visible light. Roy G. Biv. Most radio waves and some infrared penetrate the atmosphere through what's called the atmospheric window. Okay, wavelength regions of high transparency. We have a diagram that's going to be clear, and you're going to sketch this in your notes. All right? Probably need to pause the video here occasionally because there's a lot of text here. And third, and really lastly, a very short podcast here, the lack of an atmospheric windows at other wavelengths is the reason that astronomers place telescopes in space. All right, let's kind of get this from a picture. Okay, you probably, I went fast on that last one. Make sure you pause the video. Here is the window. This uh, chart right here kind of help, helps explain everything right here. So this is, um, this is space up here. Let's look at the bottom picture of things. And so you've got all this light coming up from space. Now, when I say light, of course, I'm really referring to electromagnetic radiation. Radiation, I can't talk, it's early in the morning. So early in the morning, the light's coming. It gets blocked, okay? And so um, what gets absorbed here? So now the, the picture at the top is, we love graphs, us science geeks, okay? And so when we like the graphs, what we can say is x-rays, though they're up in space, are blocked by the ozone completely. I'll have a, a page that you may want to, instead of trying to copy this down, you want to, may want to just print this and tape it into your notes. Okay. And then down here, so this, this is blocked. Okay. So total blockage here. And down here is clear, no blockage. So visible light right here, that's a, one of the windows. So this right here is what we would call one of those atmospheric windows. We have another atmospheric window for radio waves. So the kind of light that we essentially can see that comes from space is visible light. And then there's a small infrared window. And we can see a few windows here and here, etc. Okay. When we get to the infrared section right here, there's oh, water and carbon dioxide amps that block most of the infrared light that comes out. Radio, again, there's a window. And then the uh, electric charges in the atmosphere completely block really long wavelength light. So if you want to look at space in the um, x-ray sec section of the electromagnetic spectrum, you can't see it unless, well, unless you get a telescope up in space. And so, in fact, well, that's exactly what scientists have done. There is, uh, in orbit around um, the Earth, x-ray telescopes. And they can then look up at space and see the light. <laughs> I see the light! Oh, that's something else. <laughs> see the light. Um, of distant galaxies and uh, quasars and pulsars and whatever, all the different cool stuff that's out there, but they have to get away from the Earth to see that. So there's no way they can see it because of the window problem up here. Okay. So the idea is that if you want to see space, you have to um, get some telescopes up in the sky. Here's that uh, chart just a, on a tad bit larger scale. right? change it to a different color so you can kind of see and it goes by wavelength so most wavelengths are blocked blocked right here right and then many of them are in windows this is probably the picture that you want to get into your notes you could just print um, if you're like in QuickTime print this picture actually let me erase all markings so that you will have a nice clear 
a color highlighter field tip pin I don't know arrow options I can't uh, eraser I can't get my eraser on oh well there we go eraser erase all ink on slide so here's the picture that you may want to print um, and put in your notes okay and here's the picture again. So that's the idea. Just get the concept that there are some atmospheric windows. Those atmospheric windows um, are the light that we can see from the Earth. And because um, we want to see um, the space and all that stuff at a higher um, resolution, or we want to see it in the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, we have to spend special, spend, ascend, hit that. It's early in the morning, 7 o'clock. Um, send special telescopes that can see, so to speak, in those other uh, bands of the electromagnetic spectrum, and uh, they have to be up in space because our atmosphere blocks them. So it's a pretty simple concept, and that is the end of this podcast. We'll see you in class. Bye.